Come on. Where the hell is everybody? Shichi Senpai! Any luck? No, I totally struck out. Looks like Sheen, Milady, even Mitsuomi. Not a one of them's at school today. Isn't that great? We don't care if it's five against one. We're not holding back. Let's go! Give me a break. If I go and punch a girl, my popularity will drop even lower than it already is. We don't care about that! Just fight us already, will ya? Why don't you just leave this to me? Girls won't be an issue when I'm on the scene. Super deadly gorgeous guy pose. Get lost! Oh, well that was my best move! Kushichi Tawara! You're through! Fine. If you girls keep this up, you're gonna force me to go all out on you. Those chicks may have made it to the fifth round, but against Bunshichi, they're no match at all. The Juken Club's good. There's no doubt they're going to the finals. Yeah. And if they weren't, there would have been absolutely no point at all for us to create this club. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Are you guys spying on us? Well now, we got quite a little group here, don't we? The greatest martial arts club on campus. Captain of the third karate club, Furio Suko, ranked fifth. Captain of the Roken club, En Chikase, ranked sixth. Captain of the Afghan wrestling club, Kazushi Sakuraba, ranked ninth. Captain of the first kendo club, Ryusin Kanakita, ranked eighth. And then there's me, Dan Inosato, head of Junfan Gung Fu, ranked third. This group was formed to destroy the Juken club. I have to admit, Dad, you were right. Your powers and your fighting skills were never the best, but your ability to predict the future was spot on. against the rules. Well, no one's ever done this before, but it doesn't say anywhere that you can't do it either. Your reign is over, Tawara. And seeing how your friend Sheen is too scared to show his face, you may want to pass that on. That really hurt. What a bunch of blowhards. They sure got a lot of attitude. Are they any good? You know how he told us what all their rankings were? Well, he was talking about how they were ranked here at Toto. Out of the top ten ranking guys on campus, five of them are in that club alone. They're serious contenders. I guess you're right. Well, then how do you and Sheen rank? Sheen is second, and I hold the top spot. Huh? I thought the executive council president was who ranked first. The rules just say that the president's chosen from the club that wins the finals. Sheen didn't fight at all last year. In fact, I didn't even see him at a single tournament. So the only reason I'm ranked higher than him is because I was the one leading all the fights last time. So that's what happened. Hey, speaking of Sheen, where'd he and the others go off to? Who knows? Mitsuomi's old man has entered the picture. So something must be going on. But I haven't a friggin' clue what that is. Sun shower, huh? I've been looking everywhere for you, big brother. What are you doing down here? You should be getting ready. You gotta kick some ass in the finals today. If you're gonna flake out on the club like this, you're gonna really screw Bunshichi. I'll ask what I need to ask, so just hear me out and tell me the truth. You have the power of the dragon's eye. You knew yesterday's events would eventually transpire, didn't you? You knew all along, and yet, you knew how awful the outcome would be, and still you didn't. Why? <laughs> Tell me why, big brother, and you had better have a good answer, because if you don't, 
I will never forgive you! The future is as vast and as varied as the veins on this leaf. There are infinite possibilities for the future, branching out in thousands of different directions. There's no way that I can clearly see what's going to happen. Actually, that's all just a lie. Listen very closely. You can hear it now. The sounds of fate. No, I can't. I can't hear those things. Liar. You hear it fine. When a drop of rain falls from the sky and hits the ground, it doesn't land there just by chance. The temperature of the atmosphere, the direction of the wind, they all play a part in forcing that drop to hit its mark. One necessity merges from another necessity, each time swelling into a larger purpose. Bit by bit, the pieces are being bound together, until the rush is so strong, it becomes a river. That is destiny. It's easy to stand here and just listen to the rain, but to understand the meaning behind every single drop, that's something I couldn't begin to make sense of. <laughs> kind of funny, isn't it? Why did God give me this ridiculous power that's beyond my grasp? Of all the people to give it to, why me? Because the guy's one hardcore, sick and twisted necromancer. Just think about it. Look at the path I've had to walk. <laughs> Maya. You're always on my side, right? No matter what happens. I no longer had the desire to condemn my brother. When I looked into his eyes, all I saw was an endless amount of tears welling inside him. And now we'll begin with the final round of Toto Academy's Imperial Tournament, our 105th to date. In the red corner, the Juken Club. Yeah. Where's Sheen and the others? Man, all three of them seem to be missing again. Blue Corner, the Comprehensive Martial Arts Club. They just got two of their guys. It's like they're trying to make fun of us or something. Yeah, but it's a good chance to wipe out this school's top-ranking guy. Who do you think's gonna win? There's no way that Tawara can wipe out all five of those guys. Senpai? <laughs> well, I'll just fight as long as I can. Hey, look! It's Mitsuomi! So he was here after all! Oh, well, thank God, Mitsuomi! You made it here! Sorry I'm late, guys. I'll go first, alright? Step aside. Can you believe that guy? He just waltzes in here and takes a stage? He's different. Something about him has changed. Huh? Nothing. So you did show up. I thought maybe you'd gotten scared and ran away. Begin! Am I crazy? No. I know this feeling. I know just what it means. Ugh. This is exactly like him. There's someone out there waiting for me, who's a lot more important than this. Uh. <gasps> and neither of us has the time to beat around the bush anymore. Sheen. He's just like Sheen. Come on, Furio, stop standing there! <sighs> Where did that just come from? He's a completely different animal than he was two days ago. We'll now begin the fifth and final match. Get ready. Oh, <laughs> Of them. Winner of the 105th 
Imperial Tournament, the Jukin Club! The Dr. Henson Club is a joke! You guys don't deserve to be ranked in the top ten! Those bastards can say whatever the hell they want, but they didn't have to fight that guy. Uh, it's like that guy wasn't even human. Uh. I don't like this one bit. He did away with the five biggest badasses on campus in a matter of seconds. He isn't even showing the slightest bit of confidence, either. They're gonna start handing out the awards now. Huh? Hold on. Did you hear what I said? Come on! Don't turn around and bail on us! You average 36 seconds for each match. Total time, three minutes. Just like you promised. I just barely made it, huh? You need acupuncture now! I'm all right. I just got a little woozy, that's all. <laughs> Miss Kuzunoha, what's going on? Tell me what's happening to my body. Two days ago, when you were first taken to the hospital, there was nothing wrong with you. But since then, your heart has gradually started to increase. The speeds it's reached are incredible. It's over 200 beats a minute now. Even serious drugs can't get your heart rate up like that. It most likely has to do with the dragon's eye. That was a massive amount of chi he blasted into your chest. In all honesty, I wouldn't be surprised if your heart were to just burst. But there's more. Because your heart is pumping out so much blood, every muscle and brain cell in your body has been awakened. Your mental sharpness has increased dramatically. Your physical abilities are far beyond any normal humans. These superhuman battle skills you have now are all thanks to that. That's the reward I get for shaving time off my life. And for only three minute intervals. Your body can't take much more than that. All I get's three minutes? <laughs> I don't believe it. I'm like a comic book superhero. Why did you have to go and enter the finals? You didn't have to fight. You had Tawara on your team, so why? You know, I could care less about winning that stupid tournament. Then why'd you fight? Because I knew that it would upset her, if she saw how hurt I really am, and that it was all caused by her big brother. That'd be it. It would devastate Maya. The powers that she has are truly amazing. Any normal person would have died on the spot. Master Fu. Before he went unconscious, he must have used his chi to stop the bleeding and to connect any of the broken bones. After seeing this, I can see why the Takayanagi family brought him all the way from Taiwan. That's all for now. Please let me know when he regains consciousness. Yes, of course. You shouldn't try to move yet, Fu. You need your rest. I'll do what I want. I'm tired of playing dead. You didn't pass out? I have what you asked for. Put him on. Come on, Fu. What are you planning to do? Isn't it obvious? I was simply caught off guard yesterday. That's why he was able to take me in such a low-class fist fight. There can be no other reason. <laughs> Fu, that's really not a good idea. Sheen is an important pawn in turning Mitsuomi into the true martial artist. Dogen is gonna be furious. Right. The true martial artist. No one like that's ever gonna exist in this world, you idiot! Uh. Uh, damn it! I'm still in so much pain! I'll show him just what this pain feels like, starting with his sister. I'll rip off her ears, crush in her nose, rip off her fingernails, and chop her fingers into little bits, one after another. <laughs> oh, no! Let's get going.
Our little errand here is done. We're going home now, Maya. What did you just do? Tell me what you did right now, big brother! Listen, Maya. You're getting way too upset. You don't have to worry about this stuff. You're just gonna have to trust me. And if you run, I'll just kill some more. Don't worry, it's not you that I'll kill. It's whoever you run to, whoever you trust that I'll destroy. And it doesn't matter to me who they are. Uh, Coach Fu. There aren't too many guys who could have done this to him. Sheen! Come on, Sheen! Where are you? I know you're here somewhere! Answer me! What the hell's wrong with you? Show some respect! You don't barge into someone's house! Tell me where Sheen is now! My brother isn't here! What's going on? Why are you acting like this? <laughs> I know what the truth is, so tell me where I can find Sheen! My brother is... Anyone that you turn to, that you trust, I'll kill. My brother isn't here now. Why, Maya? Why do you do this to yourself? Why do you keep everything bottled inside? I said I'd help. I said I'd relieve you of all these burdens you've been carrying for so long. You're not alone anymore. Once in a while, it's okay for you to be weak. I can be strong too. And if it gets too much, then I'll just become even stronger. Why should I refuse him? Maybe it's all right. Maybe it is safe to let go, to dive into his arms. Me, Mi Mitsuomi. Mitsuomi, go home. Go! I don't want you in my life anymore! <sighs> Suddenly, it all makes sense. Mi Mitsuomi! Give me three months, Maya. No, all that I need is two, all right? You won't have to cry about this anymore! I'm gonna defeat him for you.
Light is drawn to this cursed power. Darkness trudges forward, closing in on its destiny. Next episode of Tenjo Tenge, Curse! Please catch these tears as they fall!